La, 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 la. See, it shudders just a little bit. Well, do you think that's on the live too? No. If so, we're gonna have to figure that out. Let us know when you see us. Do we shudder a little bit, like dee, 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 just a little bit, or are we dee, dee, dee. nice and smooth? Dee, 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 dee. Hello, Susan. Dee, dee, Susan dee, Andy dee. Baskin Gordon. <laughs> that's a lot of names, Susan. Um, because he has everything in one port. So one port. All right, so as you guys are coming in, hello, hello, hello. 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 Um, if you missed yesterday or you didn't see the end, here's the project we made hello. yesterday. And all of my artwork is now up on Etsy. Yeah. So all of the stuff from Christmas, everything I've made, um, it's all up there. They are priced. Prices are always negotiable. So if you really want something and it's out of your price range, reach out to me. He asked me how much, and I come up yeah. with a price. So he takes my price. Yeah. So it's too much. My fault. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, on Facebook, so let's just talk about links really quick, and then we'll dive right in. On Facebook, if you're watching this, it is hashtag bunny. You did not give me that, but I can fix that real quick. Okay, he's going to fix that. So hashtag bunny. If you're on YouTube, all the links should be down below. Um, let me explain Etsy store. So Etsy store, our Etsy store, which is Ken's Creations Inc., is going to be our main hub where we put everything for sale. Wood cutouts, SVG files, our freeze-dried candy when it launches, my completed artwork. It's all going there. Um, for right now, it's the easiest for us to manage as we work out all the details of our new business adventure. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, so... Uh, once again, if you're on Facebook, hashtag bunny, YouTube, everything's down below. So let's talk about um, what we're going to be doing today, but let's also talk about some things that are going on. It is the end of the month, mm -hmm. and um, I want to talk about a few things. Number one, if you're a Club Couture member of ours, invoices are going out invoices, tomorrow. Yes. So this is for any new product that was ordered last month or any of my orders placed on our order form. All of those invoices will be going out tomorrow. Yes. Now, because there is a new rule with Chalk Couture where we cannot discount new product, if you're a Club Couture member, make sure to check your email tomorrow. We are coming up with some fun, exciting things so you guys still feel important and get some special perks um now speaking of perks tomorrow because it is a brand new month there is a new color of the month now last month our color of the month was dream car which was this color and you can see that in person here look at that color now i don't know the color next month but i got a hint that it is called Ar Ar arcadia arcadia i think no. No. It is served an A. Academia. 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 So, I predict it's like the color of a page of a book. So just... Like a beige... Like a beige off-white. Like a off-white. Like, like one of those two. Yeah. That's what I think it's going to be. I don't know that to be true. I don't have any hints. Now, color of the month is important because last time this sold out in two weeks. I have heard that they are thinking this one will last about a week to a week and a half. Now, the way you get color of the month is if you're a customer and place a $75 order on our chalk site starting tomorrow, you will have the option. It will say, would you like to add the color of the month for, I think, $13? Something like that. Yeah. Um, and then when it's out, it's out, it's retired, it doesn't come back. Um, if you are a designer and you spend $45, you get to add it to yes. your cart. Two people think it's blue. Ooh, it could be. I guess we would have to look that up. Why do you think it's blue? Based Heidi on... says that and Susan says that. Why do you guys think it's blue? I don't know. Acad academia. I guess we'll see you tomorrow, there won't we? Wrong with this. He's figuring all of e out now. It's well, different. Well, there's been so many upgrades. It's just like... Oh. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, that is Color of the Month starting tomorrow. If you are a Club Couture member, bear with me tomorrow. I will be sending out a fab first. However, just to let you guys know, there is no new products, I don't think, launching next month except for Color of the Month. Um, so we can do deals and discounts in our Club Couture group. However, um, if there is something in a month that is brand new, definitely if you feel like it's going to go out of stock within the 30-day policy of not discounting our merchandise, um, purchase it. And the reason I bring this up is Chalkable shapes these were the bunnies the butterflies the cake they sold out in record time um and we didn't get any it's 
very sad. You don't even have any. I don't even have any to show off. So the good news is, is I have created digital files for everything and I can create cutouts. So that brings us to, um, we'll talk about that in one second because I do want to talk about the starter kits. If you did miss out on the bunny, the, the cotton tail, the spring time cotton tail market. Not that one, right? Nope, the other Sorry. one. Right, um, so if you missed out on it and you really want it, you can still get it. It is exclusive in our Easter 2023 perks pack. This is if you join Chalk Couture for $99. You are going to get everything you see on the screen. So our monthly Club Couture transfer, the Happy Easter Swirls, Amazing Grace, Happy Easter Minis, the Jelly Beans, the Spring Cottontail Market, which is now retired. You can't get it anywhere else. You're going to get the bunny shape. You're going to get a jar cutouts. You're going to get an Aiden board, a board and base, chocolate chips, bright white paste. You're going to get the Everyday Home and Good Times paste palette packs, the adhesive magnets, color trays, and small squeegee. So those items are retired. You can only get it in that kit, and you mm -hmm. can join for $99. That kit is good until it sells out. Now... We do have another kit that is retiring today. That is the spring, um, I think it's called the spring perks pack. So this will be only good until the end of today. And then tomorrow we might see a new starter kit. This one is also $99. And this one you get a lot of stuff. You get our monthly uh, club couture, the realistic etched bird cutouts, the rabbit and company sure to grow, day drinker, oh hello there, spring in your step, which Two of those are C-size transfers. You also get bird cutouts, the double-sided A-frame, house box frame, pennant bounder, and lumber pillow cover, which are for ink, because you are, for the first time, getting ink singles in here. You're getting paste singles in here. You are going to get the ink mat, the color jays, the small squeegee. It is a great deal for $99. So today you can join either of those two ways. However, starting tomorrow, I, it will be the Easter pack, maybe another one. Um, and then we will also have a, a new promotion tomorrow. Now, traditionally in March, Chocador does something called Transfer Palooza, which is a um, amazing sale on transfers. Um, so we will see what that looks like tomorrow. Usually it's buy so many, get one free or something like that. Um, so that will launch also tomorrow and we'll have an email go out to our club members and if you are not in my clubhouse group join and you can get information in there or if you're a team member we'll do that in our team group. Now let's talk about Club Couture. If you are not ready to join as a designer and you want to try our product first or maybe you just want to see uh, the feel of it. Try our Club Couture program. This is Happy Mail every month. It's $19.99. You get an exclusive transfer, three piece singles. This month was the Welcome-ish, which is February. So if you were to join Club Couture today, you would still get that one. But starting tomorrow, if you join, you're going to get the March Botanicals, which comes with the B-size exclusive transfer. You can only get that as a Club Couture member or a designer. And Club Couture members get three pay singles, which is the Shimmer Melon, the Papaya, and the Camel. So that's another way you can experience Chalk Couture. So if you have any questions on those, just let us know. We would love for you to be on our team as a club member or even as a customer. Can you buy more than one perk package? Yes. No. 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 Once you join, you join, unless you're no longer a designer. No. Okay, um, let's talk about files. We're gonna be doing a bunny project today. Now, I get it. A lot of people said, I missed out on the bunny, the bunny transfer. Let me show you what the bunny transfer looked like. Here's the bunny transfer, the cottontail market. If you missed out on the shape, I get it. I did too, I don't have any of the shapes. I do have an SVG for this that you can cut out on any machine that accepts SVG. You can cut it on your Glowforge. You can cut it on your Cricut with our chalk suede paper. You can do so many things. Now, the SVG is $4.99. You get uh, a PNG and SVG of all of the things. Now, if you miss out on the cutout and you still want to cut out, I do have in my SVG store the Cottontail Market cutout. You have two options. You can get just the bunny, which is that guy right there. Or you can get the set that comes with the bunny, the part that says market, the part that will say cottontail with the two little dashes. Hey, hey. Comes yes. with this. 
And then down here we have this, which says every bunny is welcome. So you can either get just the bunny or you can get the whole set. So that is on our Etsy store. Our wood is different from everyone else's on Etsy store. So let me explain that really quick. We cut on a quarter inch wood. I prefer the thick wood. Most other sellers are out eight of an inch wood so if you prefer a thinner cut just let us know we do have thinner wood mm -hmm. i just like the look look of the thicker cut so if you did not get the bunny market um you can either get the cutout from us on our etsy store or the svg file the svg file does come with cutouts for the flowers i didn't make them for the cutouts for this because i noticed a lot of people are just using this portion so if you just want the bunny perfect we can do that or this entire set now i traditionally do not use product that you guys can't purchase because it is frustrating um however i probably will use that um in the future just because it is a really cute set all right for today's project we are also going to be using if you guys watched our video yesterday um, on this guy, we used the spring. No, it is called Look on the Sunny Side. And we used the wildflowers on this right here. Wildflowers. Today in our project, we're going to be using the portion of it that says bunny trail hop this way now if once again if you want the svg that goes with this transfer so i have this on our site for 4.99 you can get the svg that will cut out on any machine and it will come out with cuts for all of this i have priced my svgs very low at 4.99 because i know they can add up um and this one comes with i think probably over 20 cuts that you can do different things with so oh. So we're going to be using this one, but for those of you that do not have a machine or would rather, uh oh, I dropped a little piece, purchase this. We're going to be doing this in our project today. So what I created here was obviously an offset for this portion. I dropped so I know right there. Oh, but I also wanted to do kind of a shadow. So you can see here, there's two pieces. You can get this also on our Etsy store as a cutout. This is in the description as look on the sunny side or on Facebook. If you do hashtag bunny, you'll get L-O-S-S. -S. But you can get the SVG or just this cutout right here, which is right here. So we're going to be using that. And then we're going to be using a box frame. But I wanted to do a bunny. And since I want just the bunny heads, for those of you who watched our Christmas series, we did like a Santa Claus a Mrs. Claus, some reindeers, a nutcracker, a uh, sugar plump fairy. So we're going to do bunnies. So let me show you these bunnies. You can buy them as a whole set or individual. So the first bunny is a boy bunny. And you can buy him individual. It comes with all of these pieces. And he stacks up like so. Look how cute he is. So there's this guy you can get on its own. You can get the girl bunny, which is your base. Oh. These didn't pop out. Oops. Once again, these are a quarter of an inch. And then her little ears are down. And then she has this little hair. Okay. You can also get, we're going to be using a tulip, which comes with the bunch of leaves. And then all the tulip bulbs. And then we're not using this in this project, but it's part of this set. And they are the spring stamps. Each stamp comes with a base with a score, how much the stamp is. It does come with, I didn't punch the holes out, but uh, holes, if you wanted to punch them out for, to make them into a garland, then it comes with an outer layer and then a piece. So like this one has a tulip. So there's that one. There's one that says spring. There's an Easter egg. There's a little hop bunny and a carrot. So that we're not using in this project, but it is part of the set. If you wanted to buy the whole set, you can. That's the cheapest way. I want to say it's $22.50, which Sean will kill me because these take about a half hour to do a piece. <laughs> so we're really not making a lot of money after our time. Um, but you can buy the entire set or you can buy each individual piece. Um, for our purpose, we're doing these top three. And I am not oversizing these. In some of my other projects, I've oversized them. And you guys got smaller versions. But I'm doing just this. 
Okay, any questions on Etsy or all of that good stuff? Heidi is letting you know. Don't forget you can use the SVGs on digital cutting machines like the Cricut and cut thicker paper and layer them. Yes. So our new paper, which is the chalk suede yeah. sheets. This is a 12 by 12 paper, so it will go into any cutting machine that takes that. So your Cricut Maker, Cricut Explorer, Silhouette Cameos, um, any paper really because you can cut it down or any machine. You will be able to use all of my SVGs using this paper. Mm -hmm. I did um, test cut a few and it does require a deep cut blade. So I do recommend doing a quick um, test cut on your machine. Okay, so basically the way this is going to look when it's done, let me show you and then we're going to start painting. We're not going to be painting anything on the board. The board itself is going to stay this nice, beautiful brown. This is our 6 by 18 box frame. So you have one side that's white and brown. And I love the brown because we're going to be using some bright colors. And then the bunnies are going to sit... Like so. Like so. And then she's going to be holding some flowers off to the side like this. And then we're going to obviously do that there. I thought about putting a pattern back here, like one of the farm patterns, but I really like the wood look in here. So we're going to start. I want to utilize our chalk new colors here. So normally I would use paint to do these, but I'm going to show you how you can paint with our chalk colors. And these are our new in vogue colors that I'm going to incorporate. I love these colors. They're super bright. They're vibrant. With that said, maybe it would look better than, what do you think? What? On the white side, because they'd really pop. Hmm. Yeah, let's do the right side. Don't you think? I think so. Because they would really pop on yeah, that side. Will. Okay, so we're going to put this off to the side for now. And we're going to get started. I got to kind of see what color scheme I want to do here. I think for him, we're going to do his overalls in blue. And we'll couple that with orange. And then she can be kind of the pink and green and purple. And maybe even dream car. Mm, eh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And then for the ears, it, for the oh, bunnies... Do, one of the tulips could be... Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, Shani. Um, for the bunnies, I am going to use paint. So I'm going to grab a nice... Ooh, should I do clay paint with that? No, that would look it's weird very, for very, very dry. Are bunnies' fur not dry? What do you mean? I, I mean, it's going to look like a terracotta pot. We, we have to use that in a project. I love it. I know, it's, really it's the new Terra paint from Dixie Bell. It's called clay paint, and it looks like a terracotta pot. Okay, so we're going to start with the bunnies. Might as well. And I'll put this off to the side. If you guys have questions while we're doing this, let us know. I'll try to catch them. Um, yes. And and hola, Melissa. I didn't, I didn't catch to say that. Okay. I'm going to grab my Cricut Strong mat. I use this to paint my bunnies. And the bunnies we are painting, basically... We're going to do the whole base here and then the whole face here. And then on her, this bottom part, really the only part of her that is going to be is her. Like her is that a dress or really just her ears and face kind of. Yeah, because her dress. Um, I might do a pattern on it. I don't know. Ooh, decisions. What do you think? I might do her brown, actually. Let's do two different colors of bunnies. Because we want to sh show is that we... You, that, is that what you're trying to do? Kind of. But we want to show that our bunnies are inclusive. And they don't just stick together. They will marry... A, a gray bunny can marry a brown bunny. Sure. Can you give me water? Yeah, oh yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, so I need to mix this paint up. I'm going to start with Baja Gray. And this is their all-in-one silk paint, which I really like. And then I'm going to grab Oyster. So I'm going to start with the Baja Gray and just put down a base coat. Thank you, Johnny. So really we're worried about his little arms, the cute face. Uh, Nancy B says, what frame did we use for last night's project? It was an 18 by 18 box frame. 
that they don't make anymore? Yeah, the box frame got retired. That got retired. But, you know, could go out and even do a... Um, a drawer, a door front. If you mm -hmm. go to your local places, you, you can, can find... also get it at. Um, I've seen them at Michaels yeah. and Hobby Lobby. Um, that's we... one thing I will say on these new releases is they are retiring things a lot sooner. Um, so if that, if you find something you want, basically, I'm, I'm telling people to grab it while you can. Oh, maybe you're fine. Hold on, guys. What happened? I think I may. Have... I'm playing with your guys' stuff. Sorry, I know you probably see this. Sorry, I think I finally figured out how to make it bigger. All right, and then I'm gonna use Oyster, which is a little bit of a lighter gray. And then we'll do his little cute ears in pink. Did we end up with keeping any puppies? We did not. We ah. all went to their forever Ew. homes. Ew. I'll let head. you take that. They went to Forever Homes, two of which were... Orange and green. Orange and green, and Jackson. they uh, went to one home, and then we had uh, cream and uh, yellow go to one home. So that's Honeybee and uh, Hopper. All right, so I'm just using a brush that I got that's pretty raggedy. And you can see it here. And then I just grab a baby wipe very gently while it's still a little wet, and it will soften it a bit. Because I want kind of a weathered look, but I don't want it so much that... Did you want a... Uh, apron? Um, I don't know. Sure. Do I need one? I don't know. I'm just asking if you want an apron. Sure. Okay. Sure, Shawnee. And I'm gonna do this a few times so we get some really cool layers under there with the dark gray and that white. No, we didn't. We Sean said no keeping up puppies. He said that was too many. Four, we've done four puppies. It was bad. It was it was hard to keep up with them. Well, and I think with Riles's her issues, it just Rebecca. We do not know the color of the month. We heard the word academia. Academia. Somebody thinks blue. Somebody thinks green. I think it's going to be the color of the page of a book. Love the Monsters Inc. apron. I know, isn't that cool? This is your, this is the new one I made you. Mm-hmm. Oops. I will have to clean that jar. Hey, Sherry. And all the other yes. people who... I didn't say you go away. They listen to us. We were watching. We've been watching a really good show. It's called um, Shrinking on Apple Shrinking. TV. Very good. But one time it just stopped playing and a, a guy came on and said, Yes. Yes. And I was like, oh my God, they're listening to us. <laughs> that scares me. I know. How is Riley? Riley's doing great. Um, she's healing well. Um, I'm going to be taking her back in on the second so they can see how she has progressed since the uh, attack from her daughter, CC. They put her on higher meds. Uh, yes, we did put her on a higher uh, phenobarbital. Mm hmm Dark academia is a trend in home decor these days. And what is, what is the color? What is the actual color? 
Inquiring minds want to know. I have got to figure out how to fix this. This is just like driving me nuts. What's driving you nuts? The lower third. Hello, cat. Guys, it's driving Sean nuts. It's it because it's different than the last the last time we used it. So since the last time we used it, they've already had an upgrade. Well, so it's that's like, what happens. Like we a, live in a world of upgrades, Sean. Yeah, I have to look to find where that's at. There's also a point where I can say, stay on for seven seconds and then just automatically go away. All right. So I pounce it and then we're going to take this. Take what? Actually, I might take this one. Drag it. Mm -hmm. Rush it hard. We're going to do this a couple more times to get a really cool, nice, fun, different color texture. Zoom in so we can kind of see it. Don't be afraid to mix your colors. Tamara says of the Academia, navy, dark green, walnut brown, dark red. Think old books in a library. That's what I think it's going to be. Thank you, Pam. All right, so before I strip that down, I'm gonna dry it. And then I'm gonna grab just a darker color just to add a little bit. This we don't need a ton of though. We just need a little bit to give a little bit of contrast. Once again, I'm just gonna wipe it off and then I'm gonna use this guy to streak it down. To make it look like fur. Hi, Don. add a little bit more and we should be good we'll do the ears the nice stuff about the silk paint is it does dry fairly quickly um, which I like and this wood um, tends to dry quickly too with the hair dryer so this way we'll be able to do their cute little ears oh thank you Pam very much for saying that Diana says, um, gosh damn this darn thing. Dark Academia, think slubby brown cardigans, vintage tweed pants, a worn leather satchel full of stacked books. Mm. Well, there you go. Okay, Shani, I'm gonna give you these. Okay. Our bunny, this brown, the gray bunny is done, but I am gonna do his cutie patootie little ears. I'm gonna grab nice. So you're done with these? Are you gonna use yeah. you're gonna use you're gonna paint her different then, a different color? What? You're painting her a different yeah, color. Yeah, she's giving me brand. Okay. Money. I miss Ken from the car. It's coming back. It's coming back. Thank you, John. How was our trip once we did make it? It was wonderful. It was actually better than we expected and oh. it. Needs help. Yeah, that's on there tight. There we go. So I'm gonna use pink champagne. This is Dixie Belle's all mineral chalk paint. And I'm gonna be using mostly ch pink champagne because it is the lighter color, but then I'm gonna add, oh, I'm just gonna shake that because that's pretty watery. I need like a little mini paint shaker. Wouldn't that be fun? One time, I would shake my paint, and my lid wasn't on. Not good. One everywhere. That was not a fun day. All right, so we're gonna start with 
A little bit of our darker color here. I'm just gonna add it into his little ears. And then I will, I don't know if I'm going to line this one in blacks. On the Mr. and Mrs. Claus, I kind of lined them in black. We'll see. Oh, that's wrong. Brush size. There we go. So on this one, I'm going to start by putting the darker color up here. And I'm going to blend it into this color down here. Where'd you go, Shawnee? Sorry. Well, no, it's okay. I just didn't know where you went. Big old dry hunks and chunks in it. Fatima says, when I think of Ken from the car, vintage. Printer papers with sales and deals comes to mind. So many memories to treasure. I miss those days. Back in the day. Oops. The mouse doesn't work as well when I'm got a wet finger. All right, so let's add a little bit of this lighter color back into there. What do you need, my love? I'm trying to figure out which. It must be this right here because it's new. Stuck on? Do you have tape on you or something? Yeah, yeah. This on my foot. What's this? Twine. Ah, that is a little bit of a problem. Yes, it is. So I'm just blending these two colors, and no rhyme or reason. Just do whatever your heart tells you on blending. Thank you, Beth. Ken from the car when the white van kept driving by and Ken thought they were kidnappers. Good times. Good times. Good times. Okay. I think I like that. Let me see this real quick. Mm -hmm. And then I just do little beady eyes. But you could do whatever eyes you would want. Yeah. But I just do little... They're cute little beady eyes. And then, I don't, oh man, I don't know on this part. A lot of people do a heart for the nose, but I think that's too cute. What does a bunny's nose look like? Is it um, a heart? It's, where's your little thing? Does it say? Does it show or does it even They show? do a heart. What does my bunny on that one look like? On this one? Yeah, what does his nose look like? Kind of, it is a heart. Kind it kind of, of is a heart. Heart shape, yeah. There we go. And then we just do two little beady eyes, which for that I use. Your pen? Yeah, where is it? Which one? I use my really, I don't use the chalk. Do I use the chalk drawer one? Mm -mm. You use, you, didn't you use Copic or the? Yeah, I use that guy. These. Yeah. Pos Posca pens. My Posca pens. And black. And then we're not doing his body stuff because we're going to be using Chalk Tour paste, so I'll paint those all together. 
Um, but you can kind of see how it's shaping up here. Bunny nose is kind of triangle, which a heart is kind of triangle shaped. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Sean, will you ever do a cooking show again? <sighs> if there was, if we just had time. Going to be very busy with the new adventure of freeze dried candies and things. We'll definitely be doing lives around that as well. Kind of showing it, even though it takes 24 hours to do freeze dried stuff, you can see like we'll do prepping a little bit while it's doing it, and then at the end, as we pull it out, so you can see the difference. Okay, so for eyes, we're just going to do two little dots. This hair dryer's has been loved. Look at that. Okay, and then a bunny's mouth is usually it's like... It's the down, and it's like a J one way. And it's a an upside down no, it's bird. A bird? Yeah. I would go, it's like... You know, no, it's, it's not. Like, it's like J's. That's, what? Where's the one over here? What do you mean it's J's? Like one this? A sideways J and a, like that? Show me what you mean by this J's. Yes, an upside down bird. That's an upside down bird? Yes. No, that's not what I was thinking. I'm dreaming of Bitto honey freezes, freeze dried. Oh, so am I. <laughs> And then let's do a little... I hate doing whiskers. I always mess up on whiskers. I would let, I would love to see you guys do another munch box opening. Have, Ooh, that was fun. That was fun. How should I do whiskers? Do I have whiskers? Do you have I something... Use? Do you have a thinner... A very... Th I have fishing you, line. No, no, no. You, um... What you need is... It's almost like this type of material. Thing. Yeah, kind of. But you have to find a way to get it to be stay stuck. Mm-hmm. All right, I am going to outline his little ears here, so give me one sec. Did I use this last time, or did I use just a block pen? What? To do their ears. You did a pen. Like this? You just follow the follow the line, yeah. Are you sure? Yes. I think I used my monster pen. Well, unfortunately, the one thing is like boxed up. What's boxed up? The reindeer. You did it to the reindeer as well. Is it? Yeah, it used a used a thick that pen right there. Glue pieces from a paintbrush for whiskers. Kara, that's what I pulled out. I pulled out. I pulled out the synthetic brushes. <laughs> so here, just cut this off. Now, of course, trying to figure out how to glue it without having too much glue sitting there. Definitely munch box taste test. What a laugh. It was fun doing that. Yeah, they drew theirs on. Dang. Mm-hmm. Three little dots and just went plink, plink, plink. Great, mind, great minds think alike. So true, Kara. And then on the outside edges, I'm just doing kind of not the best lines because I want to kind of represent a fur-like finish. You know what I mean, Vern? Where's my Bosca pens? I need a white one now. Ah, uh, they're right. What's that little dude? I'm gonna add a little bit of undershading here in white. 
just a little whoosh here. You don't almost want to see it. It just needs to be light to give it kind of that shadow. There we go. Oh my goodness. Once he gets his, um, uh, his, uh, I'm going to do a little, little bitty eye dots in the lower so it looks like he's looking. Uh oh, this isn't working. Yeah, that's what I'm using. There we go. All right. And then we will do whiskers with Sean's idea. So we're going to hold off on the rest of him until I do his. We'll paint his here with all of those chalk colors. So let's, I'm going to clean this mat or have Sean clean this mat. I have another mat. Here, Shawnee. I think I do. Let's do the girl bunny now. So this is what I use, just so you guys know. Oh, this is going to be super sad using a brand new mat. It's going to get all painty. Oh, well, that's what it's for. So this little chickaroo... We don't have to do too much on because really it's just her ears and face. So I just need to worry about doing this. So let me grab my brown colors that I want to use. Ooh, what brown colors do I want to use for this bunny, Sean? What browns? That's green. That's not green. Oh, yeah, it is. You're right. Um, yeah, that kind of brown. Yeah. I think I'll do these kind of browns. Muted ish. There we go. Oops. Alright. So I'm going to do kind of a khaki color on her. With this being my darkest. And then. What? You do have another mat. I told you. Was it? it was in my arsenal of goodies. Uh oh. All right, so we're going to start by. He's in trouble. I'll just use this again. Not very. I don't really believe in cross contamination. So we're starting with a mud puddle. Mud puddle. Mud puddle. Hello, Miss Rosemary. Okay, let's try that. Tamara says they got a they got a box from for the grandkids from Japan. A Ooh, great gift for fun. kids. They had a blast trying different snacks. Ken, you might want to outline the nose to help us stand out. Oh, okay, good point. Where are my baby wipes? Oh, here it is. See, there's the fox nose. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 
important? Are we dying? No. The legislation wants to do some things about social media and children. What legislation? Like our president? Lawmakers, no. State lawmakers mm. want to limit the impact social media has on your family. What happens? Hello, Linda. Right. Like in that look. Okay, so let's show you what this bunny is gonna look like. Let's put her together. So this is her little outfit we're gonna be painting. I don't wanna get in the paint, so give me one sec. This will go here and her little hat will go here. So let's do her little ears. You could probably go wash that, Shani. Okay. Do it while it's wet. Yeah. Smart man. When it dries, it's a little hot. It is. So true. All right. So we're just going to use the same ear colors. So we're going to go with that light color again. I missed from Chalk Couture that I've asked him for more is layered. I was going back through some of my old videos of like the tractor and the trucks where it had all the different layers and you could just build on them and kind of miss that. I mean, I like simplicity, but kind of miss that, that feeling of, you know, Now you don't need to be perfect on the bunny ears because bunny ears should naturally blend back into the ear unless you really like that concrete line of it looking. Hello, Sandra. goes here I gotta get her position of her eyes just right and her oh we gotta do her cute little strawberry nose yeah, where should I put it I'm gonna do it like right about here okay Let's do her little eyes. Oh, you know what? They need little eyebrows, don't they? I should do little eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Give them a little, a little oomph. And then let's add, sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. Just a little bit of white to his nose. Oh, wait. Where's my gel pen? Oh, it's right here. There we go. All right, so let's give her a little eyes. Her eyes should go, do 
Do I want him looking the same way, Shawnee? Probably. Probably. Do my upside down. There we go. Let's do a little. Alright. Well, I probably should make that eye look a little bigger. So she doesn't look wibbly wobbly. We can't have one eye bigger than the other, love. No, it doesn't work too well. No. Okay. So. Ooh. Simmer down, girl. What are we going to do for whiskers again, you told me? Paintbrush. Oh, and then we're just, oh, you guys are so smart. Whose idea was that? I said it first and then, um, oh, uh, sorry, sorry. I think it was Kara. Kara. Kara Mayhew. I'm in love already. So cute. Thanks, Nicole. Okay. So let's outline her little ears just a little bit here. Hi, girl. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same kind of technique I did on the other bunny and just kind of do little squiggly lines here. They don't have to be perfect. We just wanna show that, that they kind of have fur. And is the nose dry yet? Nope. Oh no. Oh no. I shouldn't hey, have done that. Can't even tell. Oh, you can't? Nope. Okay. Let me dry it so I can put my little do not beat. Okay. Okay, so the rest is going to be all done in chalk tour. Okay, so I'm going to move all this out of the way. Oh, wow. Is there anything left in that? I don't know, Shoney. Burnack. You, uh, you, you loved that one. You used so much of it. I must have. Okay. Sean will take care of that. Let's start with our boy bunny, and I'm going to start with um, this. And I think we're going to do these two colors on him. Like, let's do his overalls in this and his pocket and that. What do you think, Shawnee? I'm liking it. Okay. So we're gonna grab some color trays. And then some distilled water. You need some distilled water? You have some in there? I think so. So this is one of our Invo colors. It is called... Something... Robin or bird blue eggshell. Uh, duck egg. No, not duck. Eggshell blue. Eggshell blue, there we go. I'll bring two whiskers here. Well, those will go on last. So don't lose them. There should be enough for, like, each pile is like, Two sets for him and her. 
We're gonna add a little bit of texture to this. So I'll do two coats. Will you grab a corner of one of those and smoke that? Parchment paper and smoke it up. Okay, so we have, oh, I missed a little bit of our base coat here. Okay, my base coat is down. And what we're going to do is we're going to add just a scotch, and I just mean a scotch of Tide. Ooh, geez. That Tide's seen better days. better days. I might not even hydrate in it. Well, there it goes. Do you want to throw away that Tide and get me a new one? That's not even worth rescuing. Oh, it's rehydrating. We're good. And let's not use Tide, y'all. You want to get the other one? Yeah. Basically, I'm just trying to get it a shade darker. We're gonna do a little texture on it. Once more. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of green-ish. Let's see. Or, no, yeah, I'll take more. Oh yeah. Ooh, Shawnee, much better. Don't you know, Bobby? Oops. Okay, so what we're gonna do, add a little bit of water, take my paintbrush, stir it around. Now Sean grab me some parchment paper. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put this on pretty thick. So you can see the color difference there. And then right away, while it's still wet, we're going to take this parchment paper. I'm going to keep dabbing it to bring out the color underneath. You guys can see our new. Hey, really? And then the same thing. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna add. Take your little paper here. We're gonna dip it in just here. I'm just gonna since I don't have a. There we go. Hi, Denise. And you can go at, if the more you pounce, the more it's obviously gonna mix in, but I really, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's nice. Barbara loves your apron. I don't know which one that goes with. New one. Okay. New, one. New formula. New formula, Shawnee says. So we're gonna put that right there for now. And now we're gonna work on his cutie patootie little pocket. So we're using peach cobbler for this so pretty i love the spring palette you guys the invo colors they picked are thanks sandra awesome i 
And then this is just part of our artist tool set, the, um, these paintbrushes. So we're just going to do a couple coats on this. And on this one, I'm going to use my Posca pen and draw little lines on it. Stitch. What? Stitching. Yeah. Dog hair. It's everywhere. Thanks, Beverly. This almost didn't need to be watered down. This is actually a really good consistency. I'll do a couple more coats. Hi, Johnny. We want to make sure this is really dry before I do the stitching. It went down by your shoe. Which means now it's really going to have dog hair on it. Oh, I'm sorry, Denise. What happened? She said, I don't have that problem anymore. Our big boy passed away. Dog hair. Oh, I'm sorry. Not easy. Nope. Okay, we'll go back and do the stitching here. I want to let it air dry, but you guys can kind of get it. He was 11. Okay, so we are there. Now let's look at our girl. And I was going to do kind of a pattern on her, but I think we're going to do for her really like this combo with, that's going to be my tulips. So what should I do with the purple? Hmm. I think I was supposed to have something here and I didn't cut it. It's like... According to the picture, it's like ruffle. Yeah, I didn't cut it. Shoot. Yep. I could go cut it really quick. Let's do it all purple, and then down here I might do a pattern of something. I need the ruffle, though. That's me, then. Whoops. Yes, you come in here and entertain the, the troops. Am I stressing you out by leaving you? No. no. Alright, so we're going to paint it purple. And then um, he will get my glow for up because I really want that ruffle. And that ruffle really should be part of the um, bundle. So I'm going to have to relabel that on there. And the shimmer, what I'm doing on this is I'm just doing it straight. I'm not watering it down because I really want that shimmer. Um, and we'll just layer it on there. I'll move that camera down here for you in a sec. Hmm. There we go. So we're just going to add the shimmer down here as well. I might modge podge a pa Oh, you know what? She's going to be holding flowers. So this will be covered. So I'm not going to be too worried about that. She's going to be holding her tulips. Ooh, that's so pretty. I don't know if 
you guys can see that, but Sean will have to come and get it refocused. But I'm gonna add another layer to get some more of that shimmer. And we'll dry it and then we'll actually take some black Posca pens and highlight the crease marks in there. So the score marks are put on the uh, wood for you to go back and either add paint or however you want. So what's cool about this shimmer is, man, when it dries, that just sparks up. What? Cool. So I'm gonna go cut that really quick. Sean can entertain you. Entertain. I just feel like she needs more. The shimmer didn't really get a lot in here. So let me. A little ribble crinkled up for ruffle. Hmm? Beth says you could do, use a little ribbon crinkled up for a ruffle. Oh, you could. Oh, that's a good idea. I could have. I don't know if I have anything, though. Okay, I'll be back. You'll be back, and I'll be here. Entertaining the troops with whatever. Let's see if I missed any questions real quick. Um, pro. Thank you. Welcome. Nope, have not missed any. Yay. Do, 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 do. We had snow this morning to about mm, three, four inches of snow this morning. Uh. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. So that was fun. The day before was only like an inch. Now we had about another three to four inches this morning. Went and did a snow blow and. Uh, all nice and clean ready for the we're supposed to have some more like later this week i think so it's like <laughs> this february is not having not turning out to be very fun not at all what else we got going anything else not that i know of gotta figure out what's for dinner i do not know what's for dinner tonight we'll be kind of done early tonight which is kind of nice Then what did they do in the picture? I don't know. They must have forgotten in their set. When you look at it, it's like it's it's almost like that it's attached to her chin. It's like an attachment. Huh. So we'll just have to do our own ruffle. Yeah. Because when you look at this picture, it, it literally looks like it's part of the cutout of her head. Or no, no, I think they just painted it. They just painted it, yeah. It's, yeah, it's they just painted it and then added yeah. buttons. I saw what they did now. Yeah. So that's what we'll do. All right. You see the amount of snow that California got? 10 feet of snow, which is what, what they need. That oh. is insanity. Yeah, they definitely need it. You can send me this snow, says Tamara. Pasta salad. Mm. Spring colors are all my favorites, I know. Honey garlic chicken. Mm. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner. Oops. Gotta be on the program for this to work. There we go. All right, so we'll do our tulips next. Mm. 
while she dries, I will add my black markers there. Okay, so the tulips, we are literally going to use the new lime. Look at that lime green. Love this. They even had snow on the beach where I grew up in Pacifica, California, which is about 20 miles south of San Francisco. Wow, that's crazy. Sounds like a Taco Bell night. No. I do have a free reward there. I know. Sean doesn't like Taco Bell. Yeah, doesn't do well to my digestive system. Doesn't like his tummy. No. Although when they, they did have chicken wings, those were fine, although those didn't last very Those didn't last long because, first of all, charging $8 for five wings was stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very stupidly expensive. But I would uh, bring them home and then, because they were, they were like deep fried and they did some kind of a dry rub seasoning, which really didn't have much of a flavor. Mm -hmm. but, I had, but I had... Um, Buffalo, so Buffalo wing sauce and the one from Buffalo Wild Wings. They're uh, oh, you love Asian that. zing. Yes. Asian zing, so good. He loved Asian zing. That yeah, lime green will be great for Halloween. Oh, I know. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we are gonna use. You want to get the lid off Dream Car? Dream Car and Flamingo. And the flamingo, I am just gonna paint great off because it's got that shimmer in it, and I will really want to. Boy, that is bright pink. Dream car. Mm -hmm. My first job was at the famous Taco Bell on the beach in Pacifica, which was the original, which was originally an A and W. Wow! Look at you, Nancy. There. It is not any better for wings now. Twenty-five dollars for sixteen wings at Papa John's. Woo! Prices long, have gone up. A long time ago. Well, here well, comes the story, you guys. Get ready. When I was in the Navy in San Diego. Of course, this was in 92 to 94 when I was short duty. The famous outdoor mall of San Diego, for those who know that area. I forget what it was called. I'm going to wash my hands really quick. Okay. Um, at the very top of that... They had a place called Frog Lanes, F-R-O-G-G -G, Lane, L -A -N -E, and they had Wing Wednesday. And on Wing Wednesday, if you ate all 50, that's five zero wings, the wings were free. Where's Hunter? He's out there lying upside on He's his- He's not outside? Yeah. He's out there. He may have went upstairs. Yeah, he is, okay. Um, you eat 50 wings, you got them for free, but you still had to order like a beer or a drink or something. Still had to do that. And they were so good. Oh, I ate, I, we did that oh, eight, nine times. Horton Plaza, thank you, Sandra. Horton Plaza. Somebody actually did a, a video there and I'm going, oh look, I remember that place. It's not as great as it used to be. But anyway, yeah, Frog Lanes, oh God. Eight, nine times I think we did that. Every, quite a few Wednesdays, I'd eat all 50. And you did not have a time limit either. You didn't really. Nope. As long as we ate them all. Hmm. And then there's a lot of places did um, ten cent wings, so wings were ten cents each. That was a good, that's a great deal. All right, so back to our bunny. Let's go ahead. We're gonna um, grab my super glue, and then we will super glue them, and then we will add the stitching onto it. So I want to add some stitching along here and his button. Mm -hmm. Ah, the super glue. Anchor ball went under somewhere. That's why she's making the yeah. her little noises. 
And they were very good wings. They, they a, were? They had a very good sauce. I mean, it was buffalo wing sauce, but theirs was very good. Very good. Very you heard good. it here first, everyone. All right, so on this, this I need... I really want to do black, but I wish I had... I thought I had Brown. a fine tip black marker. Maybe I mm. didn't. I thought I did. I need one, then. Is this? This might work. Because I want to do stitching, and then I want to do a cute little button. So let's do stitching first. Here is the pen I used. Should we do, I think I'll do stitching. I think it should go here, here. Sean, in that drawer is a bag full of buttons. Will you grab and see? What color? Um. This size? Yes. What color? Well, if you can find orange, that would be awesome. That matches orange? my little, my little pocket. Mm. Like okay. that one right there. Get two of that color. That is your job. That is your task, Sean. If you so... No desire. Okay, let's let that set. While he's doing that, I'm going to grab tweezers. There's a place in Newport News, Virginia, that has Wednesday night half-piece hooker night. It's a huge platter of seafood for 10 bucks. Oh, my God. I'd be there. I'd be there in a heartbeat. Love seafood. Yeah. The biker bar. Nice. When we were on our trip, we went to this Asian restaurant that's on the property. And yeah. we, we went there on our first night. It was really good. Oh. And Sean, <laughs> the second time, used Google Translate to tell the waiter he just wanted all sushi. I just want sushi. I don't want anything else. Just sushi. And the guy goes, oh, okay. And okay. so sushi and sushi and more sushi all came out. And Sean was a very happy boy. I was. Not to say it was great sushi, but it was sushi. Um, it's been the it. This has been the coldest winter we've had in here in Arizona since we've moved here seven years ago. I know I was watching uh, Mandy's post and she was showing temperature and going, going, boy, that is cold for Arizona. <laughs> Ooh, I have to do a pocket. This will be. Um, so this this Japanese place there down in Punta Cana. He got the sweet and sour pork, which he said was good. I had the um, chicken red curry. Yeah, no. Was not curry by any means. Not even close. Tender was, the chicken was extremely tender and nice. And the sauce that should have been curry was good, but very disappointing because it was not curry because I love curry. Love it, okay, love it. How am I doing these whiskers? Like. You're going to have to find a way to glue them. Just like that, yeah. You don't have to have very many. See, if those are too long, you can obviously cut them down. Yeah, yeah sushi, sushi, sushi. We have a couple of nice places here in town. We even have one that's semi-close to here. Denise says, I can't do sushi. No, believe me, there's a lot of people that can't do sushi. Me either. Like when we were down there, Mandy brought her oldest son down, and yeah, he does not do sushi. He does fish, but he does not do sushi. But her youngest, uh, Fox, loves it. He loves it. One time, he and I went to a sushi place here up on the South Hill, and they have a boat. It's made for two, 80 pieces of sushi. Yeah, I ordered that for myself. And yes, I ate it all. Let me at its finest. Let me at its finest. My 10 year old loves sushi. I know. There are some kids that it's like they would run away, but there are a few out there that just love it. 
I love it too. It's very, very good. You don't even have to have a lot. It just needs a couple of them. I can't with the whiskers. They are so cute. I know, Angela, aren't they? I like all seafood, seafood besides the fish. Yeah. There's a few things I won't eat in sushi, and sea urchin is one. Won't do it. That was on our... We also watched this show called... What was the it called? The, Reluct the Reluctant Traveler with Eugene Levy. It's and a really good show. He had an episode where it was a sea urchin, and Sean was like, nope. Nope, won't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Um, there's a couple other things I can't think of. And uh, red bean curd, yeah, no. And that's the funny thing is, is that uh, back in San Diego, <laughs> one of our roommates was Japanese, and he says, either you like it or you don't. And he says, a lot of Japanese people do not like it. It's not good. Gooey duck. I haven't had gooey duck raw, but I do know what it is because it's... What's gooey duck? It's a very gigantic clam. It's also known as a horse penis clam. Ew! But they use the C word instead. That's gonna, disgusting. Uh, it's huge, but it's you can take that, that, whole, that whole foot of the gooey duck is all meat. And uh, a lot of places that use that for their um, clam chowder. Because it's really? a lot of meat. It's a lot of meat. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of meat. I can do California rolls. Even you could do California rolls because there's no fish. It's just cucumbers and carrot. Oh, yeah. I liked those when we had them. Yeah. It's the closest I'll ever get. Gooey duck, yeah. Okay. Cat so fish. I need to fill in a little bit of white here. Can you get me white buttons? Little white buttons? White buttons. If Same size? One, two, three, four. That would be awesome. Four buttons? Yes. Same size? Yes, please. Have you ever had Maryland steamed blue crab? I've had blue crab in sushi, and they're, it's very good. Very good. Very soft shell. They're soft shells, right? Soft shell blue blue crabs. I love crab. Is that blue? No, wait, that's that's not white. That's light blue. Oh, here's a white. Here's a couple white ones. How many? Four? Did you say? Mm-hmm. Angela had sushi for lunch today. I'm jelly. If we ever do go to sushi places, Kenny always orders like their main menu type stuff, like um, cashew chicken or their Mongolian beef or whatever they have. They'll eat those. Mm -hmm. Can will. you draw the whiskers in there? Good. Is the white part of the ruffle you were cutting? Is the white part the ruffle you were cutting? He was going to cut, but there's nothing to cut. There's no um, thing for it. No, not soft shell, hard shell. So no, Tamara, I've never had the hard shell blue crab. It sounds good. The crab, I'll eat it. Of course, best crab to get is king crab because you get so much meat. And yet it is so expensive. So I was watching a show and they were doing king crab fishing and they went down to where they were. It was like, a, I think this was the one with um, Gordon Ramsay. And they went, because he, he, they actually got in the water and grabbed it. And the entire floor was full of king crab. It was just covered in king crab. I'm going, so why is it so expensive? Look how much there is. There's a place that there's a place you can all you can eat over by Seattle. They have good sushi section. They do, Sherry. Eh? Hmm, that would be fun. So normally I would add a little bit more ruffle down here, but the flowers are gonna sit basically like this. So we're gonna work on the flowers next. Right on. It's a delicacy here. What is? The blue crab over in Maryland. Okay, can you get me two purple buttons? Two purple buttons. Or, yeah, purplish. Purple. Or they let's a, do... a dark purple. Uh, Coming to Chuck, 
Ch uh, Chocotour or Couture What about Tour these? Two of these. That color, Shawnee. You need two of that color. Of those grays? Mm -hmm. Uh, you're going to be staying at the Davenport Hotel, which is a very nice hotel. Uh, very historic. Even a president stayed there. Very well done. You'll love it. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, crap. We're going to have to do this one. Why? Because they're hard to tell. What color was it? These. What color was it again? No, lots of places. There's lots of places downtown to eat. Can't wait for you to be here. That'll be so fun. Um, I'm so excited they're doing one in. Melissa, there's uh, uh, the other, the Davenport is owned by a couple other hotels that are within the area. And the one across the street, even the Davenport itself, they all have actual restaurants in, in there. Uh, the, the Peacock Room, um, a couple other ones. Uh, of course, being a, a fancy restaurant, they're a little more, a little more pricier. But it is a great restaurant. Have, they have great food. Um, there's a couple other places. Uh, you just, just when you get down there, go restaurants near me, and psh, you'll get a whole slew of things. <laughs> Everything is within walking distance because it's smack dab in the middle of downtown. So what were the colors again? I, if I, I have the khaki-ish color, khaki -ish. like this to match her. So like that one and that one right there. That one, let me see that one again. See, okay. it's like a khaki color. Yeah. Uh oh. Was that there? Was that your? That was the second one. one. <laughs> Who knows where that went? Let's find another one. Join Spookan Spookan Food Finder. Oh, cool. Is this is this the right color? Try to see. Or is that too yellow? Too yeah. I think that might be too yellow. Um, just like, yeah. Where did we get these buttons? Amazon. Somebody said Amazon. There you go. That's too yellow. Okay. And this one is sticking in my finger, so I might need you to do. It. Oh, there's the color I need right there. Yeah, Anthony's is not too far away. Walkable, of course, the weather should be a little better by March 15th. Um, it's right next to the falls. Of course, the water wouldn't be running. <laughs> uh, ate there. I've, eat, I've only in the, eaten there once with my dad and Kenny. Kenny had... Um, halibut cheeks. Halibut cheeks. The only seafood I've ever really... You actually enjoyed them because they tasted like chicken. I wouldn't say I enjoyed it, but... You didn't dislike it and you ate it, right? Yeah, Anthony's is a well-known restaurant on the Seattle side. Very seafoody. Okay, so now we just need to. Do we need to draw block lines on the flowers? What do you think? Or do the lines good enough? I think the lines are fine. Okay, because I, I can see them with this. All right, so she'll get to. Oh, I need to do her whiskers. Whisker time. Whiskers, whiskers. There's supposed to be a place downtown, but I'm not even sure if it's still around or open, was where you could get, um, and, and they ran out so quickly, was um, lobster rolls. But it's like they were only open for like lunch. But some, some people that we know ate them, they said it was fantastic. Where was that? Huh, downtown. Where though? Chad's the one that told me about it originally. Um, somewhere up in the Skywalk area. We have the second largest skywalk system in the city, in the country. Minneapolis or somebody like that has the first, and we have the second largest. So a lot of the buildings are connected by uh, skywalks, so you don't have to go outside. It's not a lot, but it is the largest. Salem, we don't, we haven't found a good sushi place here. You haven't? I should you, you should reach out to Mandy. She, they eat sushi all the time. She might know a good place. She's up in, she's over in Chandler. I need to trim hers, but we'll put her right there for now. Okay, so we got that, 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 and the last thing we're gonna do 
is the bunny trail. I don't know what color I should do it. What do you guys think? As the background? Because I'll do it. I'm going to do this in white, the actual bunny. So those are the colors that we've used. What do you think, Sean? Hmm. Let's just give you a visual of what it's going to look like. So, far. so if this bunny goes here. She ends up going there with her flowers. Her flowers are going to go like this. So what color should we do that? I think I'm going to paint this the same color as this. Brownish. Brenda, we, we cut our own wood cutouts. And then maybe do, okay, I think I have an idea. Okay. The bunny is darling, I know, isn't it? And you can get these cutouts on our Etsy store. You can cut them on their SVGs and you can cut them on pretty much any cutting machine. Mm -hmm. Will it work on the one program? What's the one program? The one that some people have problems with. Was it Light Source? Lightroom. Lightroom? Yeah. Is it Lightroom? Yeah, if they follow the instructions on. Well, there you go. In the description, it'll tell you what the steps to take to resize them for Lightroom. Oh, very cool. It's easy, knock it off. We've been live for an hour and a half. But only 83 people watching? Oh. That's okay. That's okay. Usually it gets, when we're, when usually when we go live at six, we usually have well over a hundred, but we went a little early. Well, we haven't been live in a while, so we gotta yeah. get people back in the habit of back. us on the schedule because we were not consistent. Okay, that can get dried. Okay. Now what I think I'm going to do on this one is incorporate all the different colors. So let's do a kind of, I don't know if I want to do an ombre maybe. That might be cool. Don't do the shimmers because the shimmers will add up. But if I do this, this, this. Okay, that's what I think. I'm going to try. Try people. Beth goes brown on the bottom, white on the top piece, hot mess, peach, and dream car on the, mm. as the transfer. When are we going to start selling candy? Um, probably within a few weeks or so, I think. Mm -hmm. think? Dee Dee asks, how is Riley doing? Dee Dee, she is doing well. Doing well from the original problem she had during Christmas, but um, slowly, um, slowly uh, healing from her problem last from last week. What problem was? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a video on the candy? There will be. We'll do some lives. So be there, be square. Mm-hmm. Just remember, doing freeze-dried candy takes about 24 hours. That's just crazy. To yeah, me. it is. It just—it's the amount of time. But we have candy to sell when you come March 15th. Oh, I think we probably can. I don't see why we couldn't. Definitely Skittles. Maybe some others by that point. All right, 
Let's do the blue on the bottom. Blend that and then we'll dry it. Make sure we got a good ombre look. Hugger for me. Thank you, little girl. Hug CC and Hunter. We will DD. Do you have a link for the tiny buttons? I don't. We do not. Because it's never been asked. <laughs> Normally we never use it. You usually use these things in other things. Um, if you got them on Amazon. I do have an Amazon link in the links. I just don't have direct. Yeah. But I looked up um, miniature two-hole buttons when I found them. There you go. Two-hole buttons. Yeah, they're tiny. They're probably what? I don't even know how big you would say. Let's see. Let me have a... Yeah, it is. Hey, watch yourself. Sorry. Oh, it's not in here. It's on, on your desk, isn't it? I don't know. Your uh, measuring tape. Oh, yeah. Dog hair. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna grab this tool. This tool is really good, you guys. If you overpainted and you need to get into tight spaces, this is part of our artist tool set. And I just run it right along my wood where the paint may have clogged. And it works great. All right, we just need this to dry and then I can paste on it. Clean up my mess here. Uh-oh, uh -oh. run, run, run away paste. I was in Minneapolis today for work and I was in the Skywalk. See, Skywalk systems in Minneapolis. So I pulled out my calipers. Oh, you got your calipers out? Yeah. So these are 6.7 millimeters if you want size. So basically six and a half is probably what they'll sell them as. If we go to inch, they're a quarter inch. Quarter inch. Which is what I thought they were. Love watching you create, but I also love the pups. Miss the pups. I miss my puppies too. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. That looks fun. He's even got his little goodies in here. These are just things. I love our new transfers. Look at that. No light needed. I'm gonna add white with just a hint of storm. Even though I think the white's going to um, show up just fine, I want just a little bit of storm in there just to give it a distressed kind of look. I hand there about there.
Do you think the white's dark enough? Mm -hmm. Okay. I can, I can see it. Things. Do you think I should add more? Oh no, I guess you can see it. Okay. See a lid. There's oh, some yeah. over oh, by oh, the oh, sink. Oh, right can you show my hot glue gun? Mm-hmm. Thanks. Oh yeah, you can see it. Oh yeah. What do you think, eh? Mm hmm I don't know why I'm freaking out about it. Stop freaking. There's nothing to freak out. Nothing. How oh, pretty. Okay. Let me know when that heats up. I'm gonna go grab a couple little things. Okay. I was thinking about adding to bring the color of this in, adding some of these there, but that might be too much. What do you think? Where are you going to put them? I was going to like cut them and tuck them here, but mm. to incorporate the purples and the pinks, but do you think it's okay? I think it looks fantastic. Maybe I should have done it her and, oh well. It is what it is. Do what? Switch them around? No, I should have just done hers all in that blue too to incorporate, because I didn't really think about putting the... Purple in there? Yeah. That's all right. Okay. He's lying to me, but that's fine. No, I'm not. It looks great. Lies! No lies. It's a darling sign. It is, Linda, isn't it? What? I'm waiting for my hot glue. That's the last point. Fire. I wonder if I have any small buttons I can put, maybe. Like do little buttons of pink and purple or would that throw it off? I don't know why I feel like I need to incorporate those colors. <laughs> I don't know why. Right. Oh, I didn't even see it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be over it. I'm just gonna deal with it. Are you sure that doesn't throw it off? Do I need to add it somewhere? Add what? Purple, Purple and pink somewhere. No. Mm, okay. I still think you're lying. What? Everybody else says it's love they love it. So are they all lying? Maybe. <laughs> to appease Kenny, maybe. You never know. Spitterweb! Angela says you can just ship this to me, my friend. I love it. It'll go up on the Etsy store tomorrow. The cute sign. It is, isn't it? Maybe the flowers go like that instead of like that. What do you think? Or do you like more that way? 
Okay, let go of it. So we can go that way. We could also go... That covers up our ear a lot. Any small eggs? I don't think so. I have small eggs? Mm -mm. No. I could do Posca dots in the background of pink and purple. Good. But once they're on there, they're on there, right? Because it's a paint? Mm hmm. There's no going back, Todd. I need a. Before you do it, do it on the table. Hunter. What? <sighs> what? What? What do you want? Crazy dog. What is your problem, dude? Something like right there. You have issues, dude. Oh, see, look at that incorporated the color. Can I damn it? What do you think? That's actually kind of cute. I like it. Right? I could have done little buttons too, but. That would have taken forever and trying to separate. Yeah. It Do I need dots anywhere else? I or still think I... I still think you need a dot right there. Okay. It just looks like it's empty. Right there? Yep. Yeah, there you go. Anywhere maybe, else? Maybe somewhere in, in there. Okay. 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 No, Do they it. need to be bigger? No. Okay. John spoke really quick on that one. No. Are you not liking the dots? No, I like the dots actually. I mean, it's hard to tell on TV, but when I'm looking at it from here, it's very cool. I'll zoom in and then we can see it. I said, just ship it to me right now. Okay, is that straight? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we'll zoom in. See, look at it. Yeah. It incorporated the colors all the yeah. way through. Yeah. I still feel like some of them need to be bigger, but that's No, okay. no, 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 I wouldn't. See, now I'm happy because all the colors are incorporated. Well, there you go. Now you got it. Nice job, Bob. It had to be even. Mm -hmm. Should we show up to the front? Yes. I'll bring it up real close. You know I can zoom in. Yep. Nope. Hold on. Back it off just a little bit. All right, here. I'll oh, wait. I need it. Hold on. Here, just put it right there. Okay. <gasps> oh, no. It's, they fall it over. It's not going to stand up because... Is it going to stand up? Because yes. of her, well, her flowers are in the way. Oh, you stupid flower. No, it's not the flowers. Oh, yeah, it is the flowers. Here, I'll just hold it. No, it's fine. It's standing up. It's standing up. Don't touch it. Don't touch it! 
Okay, well done. Oh, so cute! Look how cute it is! Yeah, the dots added perfectly. It did. Oh, look at that shimmer on that purple. That green and orange blue combo is so bright it almost looks weird on the screen. All right, you can go back to the this view. It's super cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, Love it turned it. out great. Yeah, Those did. dots really brought it together. See? Yes, indeed. I just needed the dots. Cool. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, it'll go up on my Etsy store tomorrow if anyone wants to purchase it. All my other artwork is up there if you want to purchase any of that. All of the files that we used, all the cutouts are up there. Everything yep, is yep. good to go. We will be live tomorrow. No, Thursday. Thursday. So we'll take a little break, and then Thursday we'll be here with all of our new promos and everything else. And I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's live. I know. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everyone.